As weird as it sounds, Volvo is building some of the most interesting cars on the market right now. While it's fleshing out its crossover lineup with the mid-sized XC60 and the compact XC40 though, it hasn't forgotten about its sedan offerings. The Volvo S90 is a stylish, tech looking vehicle that takes the best attributes of the XC90 crossover and offers them in a more conventional shape. How does it look? The S90 is lovely, taking traditional Volvo styling cues like the waterfall grille and merging it with new elements like the Thor's Hammer LED signature lights. The styling is conservative and clean, but it stands out for its elegance. This is a truly beautiful shape that we never tire of looking at. How's the storage? The Volvo S90 has 15.4 cubic feet of cargo space, accessible via a standard remote operated power tailgate. It also has split folding rear seats for longer items. And if you really need more space, Volvo offers the V90 station wagon, which is mechanically identical to our S90. The S90's cabin has a usable center console and door pockets but the two front cup holders are too shallow and the change tray below the center stack isn't big enough for my iPhone 10. Is it roomy? The S90's front seats are widely adjustable and very supportive, with plenty of head and shoulder space. The back seats are no penalty boxes either. There's plenty of head and leg room, and unlike the front seats, there's much more padding in the seats themselves. That makes the S90's second row more comfortable but less supportive than the front. How does the interior feel? In the cabin, the Volvo S90 is totally deserving of its luxury car label. There's soft leather, really pleasant wood trim, beautiful real stitching on the dash and doors, and it's a very, very nice place to spend time. The steering wheel is just the right size, and there's a really good mechanical heft to the shifter. Is it well equipped? Even in its base form, the S90 is handsomely equipped. Our S90 inscription comes standard with a navigation, LED headlights, four-zone climate control, and upgrades to standard 18-inch wheels to 19-inchers. And of course, there's the safety gear Volvo is famous for. The Pilot Assist Active Safety System is standard, blending lane keeping assist, steering assist, adaptive cruise control, and automatic emergency braking. Our tester has an upgraded Bowers & Wilkins audio system, head-up display, and four-corner air suspension. How's the infotainment system? Volvo's Census infotainment system works well, but the learning curve is steep. Be sure to work with your dealer to address the many settings and options. Responsiveness is excellent and the display looks beautiful. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available as standard, but frankly, the versatility of this system makes it a nice addition rather than a must have. Is it a good daily driver? The Volvo S90 is absolutely a vehicle you'll want to drive every day. It's very comfortable, it's very quiet, and with the standard pilot assist system, the stress of driving, especially on the freeways and in traffic, is pretty much absent. Is it fun to drive? The Volvo S90 is a luxury car, and it comes at the expense of some of the sportiness. There's a two liter engine with a turbocharger for high end performance and a supercharger for low end grunt that puts out 316 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. It's made it up to a quick, smart, eight speed automatic transmission. But this isn't an enthusiastic car. It's relaxed, it's comfortable, it's quiet. There's just enough power and just enough performance to get you where you need to go. And the ride is very, very soft, which is great for comfort, but not so great if you want to do a little corner carving. How's the fuel economy? Our tester returns an EPA estimated 22 miles per gallon in the city, 31 on the highway, and 25 combined. 
A plug-in hybrid version is available and offers 71 miles per gallon equivalent when running on gas and electrical power and 28 miles of all electric range. How much is it? A front drive S90 Momentum with a less powerful turbocharged engine starts at $48,100. The S90 inscription we're driving gets a turbocharger and a supercharger and standard all-wheel drive for $54,100. And if you want all the goodies we have, the price balloons to $69,140. What are the negatives? The negatives here are actually very few. Volvo offers the S90 with more powerful, more efficient, and electrified powertrains. And if you need more space, just grab one of the wagons or crossovers that share most of their bones with our S90. Who should buy it? The Volvo S90 is ideal for the customer that's tired of the traditional German luxury sedan. It has the equipment, the character, and the technology to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi. And it comes along with Volvo's traditionally rock-solid reputation for safety. 